I'm going to have a look at the um, map colors in the, the preferences section. Um, I've opened preferences by going to file and preferences and I'm looking at the map colors tab right now. On the right you can see the existing uh, color scheme I've got selected and that's reflected by the colors shown here. Now let's have a look at the sea. Um, if I want to make the sea a little bit lighter, a bit too dark today, click on the color and select a new color and OK. And you can see it's changed here. When I click apply, the change takes place on the map. OK. Same thing with the terrain. Uh, I've got a rather somber colour selected at the moment, so let's have a look at, uh, let's say, a nice brown colour. OK. And click apply. And there we go. Well, probably not as pretty as it might be. So we'll put it back to black. Okay, once we've got the colours we want, so that we can use them next time, we click on the export button. And this will allow us to save the colour scheme we've created. And this brings up the uh, colour directory within Radarbox, and you can see all the existing colour schemes I've got. Uh, I'm going to call this one test, as I'm just playing around, and click save. Okay, I can now exit the box. Like so. And then if we look at the, uh, the map drop down colours, sure enough, there's my test colour scheme. Click on that, and there it is. Go back to my existing colour scheme. Air traffic control green. And open up test again. And there you go, changing the colours using the preferences.